I really need to nail my line through the corner, and I'm actually going to be able to do it. There we go. All right, come on. So let's go wide. Welcome back to Forza Horizon 5's Hot Wheels expansion. For those of you who don't know, literally the day the Hot Wheels expansion came out, I caught the COVID-19. All the videos you've seen have all been recorded before the expansion actually came out. Long story short, it feels really, really good to be back. I'm still not 100%. You can probably tell my voice sounds a little bit funny. I am happy to introduce the newest product to the AR-12 store, free COVID coupons. It's like a Costco with free samples, but for COVID. Saying all of that, on Tuesday, Xbox sent me the rarest Forza gift ever. Before we get into that, we have more stuff to do in the Hot Wheels expansion. We are 47% of the way through the expert rank. I can get 100 medals from earning at least one star on all six PR stunts. All right, let's go, Subaru. I don't even know what score I need. I just need to send it through here. Oh, I'm totally going the wrong direction. Why am I going uphill? I said in the last episode that this thing is the best car in the Hot Wheels expansion, and I am about to prove it to you here. For a month, Bob. 144,000? There is nothing these things can't do. I told you the Subaru was pretty good. Just like that, we've only got 110 more medals. Okay, our next mission is this, chapter four of the Hot Wheels story. You know how I've been memeing on the Hot Wheels stories so far? This one is actually really, really good. Fair warning, I've got loads to tell you, but... I promise it'll be worth it. All right, so mission number one, we've got to stay above 100 miles an hour and get to our destination 6.5 miles uh, one direction. I don't know where I'm going. I see a lot of people in Twitch chat also saying there's no barn find on the Hot Wheels expansion. That is true and also really annoying. Finding barn finds is one of my favorite things in any Forza game. The fact that there isn't a barn find here is very disappointing. Ank really just said, I don't mind not having a barn find. Um, all right, so if you'd like to be an AR-12 moderator, hit me up. We now have a spot open. All right, take a look at this. So part two of this mission, the part that I absolutely love, you drive around in like this snowy ravine. You've basically got to find all of these treasure chests. There's no barn find, but there is treasure hunting. Maybe it's just me, but I love missions like this, even though they're like quite simple. They're just a lot of fun. All right, I'm probably gonna need to turn around to find some more. Really? Really? Anyways, I needed to turn around. Oh my god! Got it! 25! I don't even need all the time! Easy claps, just count it down for fun! Oh, thank you! Hey, have a two, Jet Z! Now you know what it's like to be a proper Hot Wheels collector. Exhausting, right? I mean, so is spinning 400 wheel spins. I need five medals. Okay. Please tell me there's a minor challenge that I can do for five medals. Earn three stars from the forest edge speed trap. Yeah. Uh. Okay, no messing around. I'm ready to witness true Hot Wheels speed. Are you ready for the final qualifier? All right, Horizon Story, bad to the Blade Runner. I've been playing this expansion for a couple of days now, and I think I've learned one thing more than anything, is the voice actors for the game are pretty good. But why is the writing for them so cringe? The crowd is going wild! Show us what that blade can do! And um, we've already reached maximum speed. 200 miles an hour in this thing. I've played a ton of the Hot Wheels expansion so far. But one thing I haven't done yet is try out the event lab. And this thing actually brings up a really interesting question. Because if you know anything about Bad to the Blade and the whole, like, Hot Wheels lore, Bad to the Blade has so much downforce it can drive upside down. I am gonna build a track that goes upside down with Bad to the Blade, and I wanna put that to the test and see if it's actually possible. And then we're just gonna see what happens. You can keep the blade, only mind if I borrow you sometime? And an achievement. Thank you very much, wart, wart, wart. All right, so I've apparently got um, about 
Uh, one million S2 events to do. We've got all of these missions to do. Each of them give me 150 medals, so we don't actually need to do all of them. In here, though, are some cars that I really want to check out, like the Brabham. I think that, in all seriousness, might actually be my favorite car in the entire expansion. And this. This is the Yokohama Sierra Alpha car. We'll get to some of those missions in a second. Why don't I show you this thing? This this is one of the rarest Xbox Forza packages that has ever been sent out. The developers were telling me there are only 10 of these things in the entire world. And for some reason, they gave one to me. Since this thing is so rare, I want to open it up very, very carefully. This was also included, and I also don't know what's in here. But I guess we'll start with this. Oh, oh. <laughs> that's a very disappointing. <laughs> that's a very disappointing box. <laughs> It's an HDMI and a power cord. <laughs> All right, and that's the rarest package in Xbox history officially unboxed. I hope you enjoy. I could open it by peeling these back, but there's no way it's ever gonna close again. This whole back panel won't lift out, so there's no way to open it without ruining it. And because it's so rare, I refuse to do it. If Xbox told me everybody got one of these, I would absolutely destroy the box, but now I feel the need to keep it in pristine condition, so I guess we'll just look at things through the plastic. So there's a sick looking track builder. There's a really cool Forza Horizon 5 Hot Wheels controller. It's all red with white triggers and stuff. Very, very cool. There is the bad to the blade. It's actually yellow here, as opposed to silver in the game. This is an Xbox Series S with a super, super cool Hot Wheels paint job, which just looks incredible. I don't actually have an Xbox Series S, um, so my only one is forever gonna stay in here. There's also a keychain and an air freshener. This is literally one of the best Xbox packages Ever. Thank you so much, Xbox, for sending me this. I apologize that I refuse to open it. I I'm just gonna leave that in the background of all of my videos now so I can flex on everybody else who doesn't have one. Shall we take our bad to the blade and see if we can drive upside down? Now that we've got this massive ramp, which is also buttery smooth, thank you, developers, for making the snapping feature. Nothing is going to go wrong here. Absolutely nothing. There is no goddamn way that this is gonna work. Like, that is upside down. I'm not so sure if this is gonna work, but I guess I'm gonna give it a go. I guess since I'm here, I'll add some more boosters. You know what? I'll add a booster here. If you can make it, then congratulations, you can go a little faster. The whole thing with Bad to the Blade is it produces enough downforce to actually drive upside down. Keep in mind, I don't have this thing tuned correctly just yet, so we will need to come back. 245 miles an hour. I'm gonna need some more boosts out here just to pick up the speed. Um. Wait, what? Um. Um. Nailed it! Holy shit, that's amazing. I think as we learn, boosters upside down do not work please tell me that this thing is gonna work there's 200 miles an hour still boosting for more speed uh sixth gear was actually faster maybe not uh no this attempt wasn't as good but i am driving upside down um, I think now I've proved that I can actually drive upside down. I think I need to build a track. Let's just see what happened. Like, that seems a bit sharp. Are there less sharp? If this actually works, I I will have my mind blown. Should I add an upside down loop-de-loop? -loop? Like, what could possibly go wrong? So, I've made a really jank-looking course. If we can make it all the way through... There is a surprise upside down loop de loop. I just can't believe that this is working even a little bit. When they said that bad to the blade actually could drive upside down, I was like, yeah, 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 I get it. Like that's a Hot Wheels thing. There's no way it's gonna be able to drive upside down in Forza Horizon 5. 
It's not gonna happen. Anyways, here we go. We will enter at 240 miles an hour. I will... Oh. By enter, I mean crash. We're all good. And we are inverted. Oh. Oh. I didn't realize that my right-hand turn actually became a left-hand turn. Now that it's upside down. Um... No. No. No, 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 no. Don't. What's mind-blowing is I don't even have maximum downforce on this thing yet. And it's already working this well. I really need to nail my line through the corner, and I'm actually going to be able to do it. There we go. All right, come on. So let's go wide into our left-hand corner. It's really hard to see what's coming when you're actually upside down. I don't think... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I only need to drive 150 miles an hour, and I can drive indefinitely upside down. What the... Oh, oh, and we're gone. I can't believe it. This is sick. So now that I made the race, now I can go back to the festival with my bad to the blade. Whoa, I could get the racing V12 in this thing. That engine might add 100 horsepower. I don't need horsepower. I need lightness. Same thing for all-wheel drive. All-wheel drive probably would make me faster, but it also makes me heavier, so no. All right. Weird. It actually bumps your engine class up above your rank. You can still install it, but you've got more work to do at the academy before you can use it. And just like that, I can now drive an X-Class car. I don't know if this is actually going to work. So I'm going to shift up to sixth gear. Hopefully we get boosted to 250 miles an hour. There's 200. And there's 250. Oh my god, this is actually going to work. Okay, here we go. We do drop speed really quickly, but we should be getting more... We should be getting pushed into the track even more. I'm going to shift down. There we go. Yeah, we're actually not losing any speed. That was one mile an hour, but that's all. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That's insane. I just got to nail my turn in. I'm starting to realize a bit of a problem with this. If you lift off, you understeer, which means I'll never make the corner. You actually need to take this corner really fast or you won't make it yeah look you've actually got a wall ride it here we go am i gonna make it through this wall ride wall ride pretend i'm playing the crew keep going no okay but i figured out how to do it maybe i should add more power so maybe that way i don't crash so hard yeah Let's try that. Let's swap the engine on this thing and twin turbo it now. Instead of 700 horsepower, we now have nearly double. Here we go. Way more speed now. 220 miles an hour. Will I actually be able to turn better now? Oh my God, I can. Oh my God, I can. And look at the, look at the acceleration. I'm going back to 200 miles an hour. I actually might make the quarter. No way. Make it. Make it. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Inverse loop-de-loop. -loop. Whoa. Yes. Yes. That's so sick. I can't believe it. I... That works. That actually works. We are definitely going to do more of this in the future. I want to build custom upside down race tracks. And then I think we should have an upside down racing series.